Hey guys, I'm Tree, and today I'm gonna show you how you can set up alerts in your stream. Stream smarter, not harder. But before we begin, I stream every Tuesday, Friday, and Sunday, 8 p.m. to 3 p.m. time. Twitch.tv slash Tree, the link is also underneath in the description. I'm gonna show you how you can set up alerts for your stream. I'm a Twitch streamer myself, but this tutorial will also work for YouTube and Mixer. But you will see everything out of the point of view of a Twitch streamer. So what do you need for this tutorial? You need a computer where you're streaming from. This can be a separate streaming PC, but it can also just be the PC you're playing games from. So if you are a console streamer, you need next to your console also a PC and a capture card to make sure the alerts work. If you don't know what a capture card is, or if you don't know which one to buy, I recommend the Elgato HD60S, that one I use myself for my Switch. You can also use it for a PlayStation or an Xbox. I will leave a link underneath in the description. So we go to streamelements.com. I will leave the link underneath in the description just to make it easy. And then log in with your Twitch, YouTube, Mixer, or even your Facebook gaming. On the left up there, in the menu, you can click on my overlays. And if you don't want to burn your eyes, in the top right here is a dark mode. Normally this page would be blank, but because I tried a lot of things already, it's full of stuff. <laughs> in the top right here we see create blank overlay. Click on there and give it a name. I'm just going to call it test with a smiley. It will appear in the top left here and we can click on this pencil. This will bring us to the overlay editor. Here we can add alerts. To do that we need to go to the top left to widget, click on that. Under stream alerts, we see alert box, add that one. This is the alert box. This will mean that all the alerts will be displayed in this square. This screen you see is the 1080 of your stream. So this means if you drag this to the top left, the alerts will display in the top left of your stream. In the top right, in the top right, bottom right, bottom right, bottom left, bottom left, in the middle, in the middle. So choose a place where you think they belong. On the left here, we see all the alerts that are active right now. If you don't see this, you probably didn't click on the box. You probably see this right now. So click on the box and they will appear. We can name this box to be alert box. Like this, but isn't really necessary. I recommend you leave all these on, but you don't have to. So let's start with editing the follower alert. Click on the cockwheel at the back of the follower alert. Here we can set music, an image, you can set how long you want the alert to last, and many more things. If you want to see how it looks like, here you have this bell icon, hover your mouse over there, and then click on one of the events. This is how the standard one looks like. If you want to change the image, click on set image. This will pop up all your files and stream elements. You can upload one in the top right, or you can choose one that you already used. Let's choose the I am jelly design here, which is actually my merch design underneath in the description. Now if we save this alert by clicking on the save and test it again, we will see that the image has changed. The same we can do with the sound. By uploading sound here on the left and clicking on we already have or uploading a new one. Save it and test it again. What if you don't like the placing? Here on the left you can change the placing of the image. This is the standard one, which has a text underneath it. You can also have it like this, where the image is at the back and the text is in front of it. This doesn't work that well for my design, apparently. Then we have this one, where the image is on the left and the text on the right. If you don't want an image at all, you can click on this X and clear the image. Also with the sound, you can clear the sound and then you have no image or no sound or both, but then you wouldn't have an alert, so that wouldn't make sense. Then here it says alert message. Name is following now. Name here is part of a code. Name will be replaced by the person that is actually following you. So you can change this message in your own language or maybe it's just name is part of the club or crew or something right now. Following is name. That would be weird, but you know, you can do that if you want. Make sure to keep the name part in because otherwise the name of the person that followed isn't popping up. Then we have alert duration, which I think is pretty understandable. This is just how long the alert is gonna last. So now it's lasting for 10 seconds. If you make it less, it's gonna last for 8, 7, whatever you set it for. You can you can also enable custom code. Uh, yeah, if you're watching this tutorial, this is probably not something for you. Underneath here we have variation settings. We're gonna skip over that one first. We're gonna go to text-to-speech first. What we can do is we can enable text-to-speech. This means that 
it will say whoever followed us. Let's try that out. You can set the volume of it and you can change the voice. You can also delay the text to speech, which just means that it starts talking later. Right, let's go back. And then text settings. This is an important part if you want to make your stream look unique. You can pick a different font for your alerts. So let's go for a different one. Oxygen. And you can change the color of it. Let's go for red. And then save. And let's just see how it looks. Now following is now red. We can make the text be bigger or smaller. We can have it in the middle, on the left, on the right. Basic text editing, I guess. Bold, italic, underlined. We can do all of that. We can add a shadow. Here's the second color if you couldn't find that one. Uh, that's from the name itself. Uh, let's make it purple. Now, oh. That looks really ugly. Don't do purple and red, please, guys. That's ugly. So you can change the color of the name of the person. And here it says animation pulse, which is that like wiggly you saw. Uh, you can change that in something else, but you can also turn it off if you don't like that. So it, it will just be static. We also have animation settings, which is not the animation of the word because that we already said, but it's how the animation is going to be in place. Is it going to drop down in your screen? Is it going to fade in and fade out? Is it going to, I don't know, whatever. <laughs> so now it's none, so it just cuts in and cuts out. But we can make it bounce in, bounce up left, bounce up right, fade in, uh, every side. You can like, let it flip. They're pretty, there's a lot of options. You can also set an exit animation. I recommend doing the same animation. Uh, to the same side or the opposite side. You can also make the text appear differently than the image or even delay the text so you will see the image first and then after that the text will come in. And now we're going back to that variation settings which is basically an extra version of the alert. So what you can do is you can set two alerts and they can be different and then the system would randomly choose one of the two to display. How do we do that? We add a new variation. And we basically, this is the same as you've seen before, but just in a different menu. You can set the chance of it appearing and you can set the image, the sound. This is all the same as in the other one, but it will just be a new variation. So new, now we have made one. We can make an endless amount of them and that will cover the follow alert. We go all the way back and we've got the subscriber alert here. Again, you just click on the gear and it kind of works the same. You set an image, you set the sound, you set the placement. You can change the message, the duration. You can set the text to speech, text settings, animation settings. You make a variation. The variation works a little bit different. You got three standard ones already. One for at least two months, one for a gift and one for at least zero months. You can see the difference. This is a gift that's up. And this is when somebody subscribed for two months at least. You can see this is stars and the other one was a gifted thing. If you want to customize everything, just turn these off and make a new alert. What is different about the sub alerts is that you can set certain months and gifted sub. So here it says a variation parameter. Month subscribed, subscription tier, gift, community gift, paid upgrade, subscription extension, using iOS and name. For this one, month subscribed, exact, three months, if you do it like this, this alert will only go off if somebody subscribes for exactly three months. If you make this at least three months, this alert will go off for everybody who subscribed for at least three months. You can do it with gift as well. If somebody gifts a sub, this variation will go off instead of the normal one. If you make the chance less than 100, this means that the alert is not guaranteed. So if you want an alert for three months or more, you probably want to have it on 100% because then always somebody with three months will get that alert. For the rest of it, it's kind of the same. Setting the sound, image, everything is the same in here as on the other ones as well. We're going all the way back. We got tip alerts, same image, volume. This is just looking exactly the same. Variation settings, add a new one. We can do the same kind of stuff. This is a little bit different. Variation parameter here can be amount or name, which means um, you can set a certain name of a person. So if this username donates, uh, this alert will go off instead of the normal one. 
with the amount you can say if somebody donates exactly two dollars euros depending on what you set uh, to be your standard currency uh, they will see this alert so that would be nice for spooky alerts on like six euro 66 or six dollars 66 or 420 or something like that this way you can make special alerts for special numbers and now we go back again share alerts same here everything is the same variation settings they have some standard ones here already so if you want to use your own alerts make sure to turn all these off add a new variation and here again you can set an amount or name to be exact or at least or even session top so if somebody donated one biddy uh, and they are the first to donate this stream they get the session top variation if somebody else donates three biddies after it they get that one again if somebody bids two after that they just get the exact or the at least one then we have the host and rate alerts which are kind of the same thing but not 100 percent but you can set a different alert for them if you want. You can also just make them exactly the same. And to be honest, it just works the same as the follow alert. And then the variation settings kind of work the same as well with the parameters with exact and um, at least and with amount and name. That's basically it for setting it up. Make sure to click next to the box and press save because otherwise everything you did will not be saved. And then make sure to copy this link. If you don't see it, click next to the box and then copy it. You can basically do this at any streaming program such as OBS, OBS Live, Streamlabs OBS and XSplit, but I'm gonna explain it in OBS Live. What we're gonna add is called a browser stores. So if you see that in your program, that's where you're gonna be. Go to sources, click on the plus, add browser source, call it something you want. I would recommend calling it stream elements alerts because then you can find it back easily. And then click on okay. Place your URL here and then make it 9020 by 1080 and delete this part and click on OK. I'm going to enable the preview for you guys, but I'm recording this with OBS, so this is going to look a little bit odd. Ah! <laughs> and what we can do now is we can test the alerts by going back to the website and then testing it. Mute the site, by the way, because otherwise you're going to hear it twice and then click on emulate an alert. And go back here and we see yeah that Anne Marie is now following <laughs> the alert pops up if you have any more questions just leave them down in the comments below and I actually have a ton more stream elements tutorials so if you're digging this program I got you covered and I'll see you over there <laughs>